Exclusive? Psst. I'm an exclusive. One of one. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the BotCon 2022 exclusive 5-2 Toys Beast Box box set. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have some lovely, lovely artwork of the four figures. They're in the set. BotCon right up front. On this side, we have the Beast Mode. We have the Box Mode on this side. 2022 convention commemorative four figure box set with the names of all four figures, five two toys, Agabus, and up top, Botcon exclusive beast box. On the bottom, words, things, warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. On the back of the box, we have that same artwork. We have some obligatory product shots. We have some things and stuff here, some information and whatnot. Agabus and all of their information here, their various social media accounts, and of course, we have. Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. Well, we're not really done yet because now we're going to open this up and we're going to uh, show off how all of this is packaged. So you just open this up and we have our bio cards. We have instrucciones. We'll put that off to the side. And we open this up here, and all of the figures are encased in some nice foamage. You have the four boxes here, you have an accessory for one of them, and you also get with this box set a very nice exclusive pin. So I'll take out, and you can see you get this lovely exclusive pin here. BotCon 2022, The Sounds of Earth, Nashville, Tennessee, August 25th to the 28th. Very nicely done collectible pin here with the sets. And of course, again, you get the four boxes. So let's get them out and get onto it. Then moving right along, here we have our Beast Box 4-pack exclusive to BotCon 2022. And first and foremost, I want to say a big thank you to the good people from Agabus.com and the good people at 5-2 Toys for sending this out my way to take a look at. Thank you so much. And you can purchase this set at the convention itself if you're going to be there that weekend. Or if you're not going to be at the convention, you can purchase it through Agabus.com. There'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. But moving on here, I do want to show off the uh, the bio cards that you get with these figures. So first off, we get Motley Roo, which is my favorite name of the set. Love that so much. So there's Motley Roo. And the back, you get a brief bio if you want to read it. You get Dragonfire, which is another one of my personal favorites of the set. There you have Dragonfire. Again, a brief bio. If you want to take a look at that, we have Siberius. Some nice artwork, and again, a little bio, if that interests you, if you want to read it. And lastly, but not leastly, we have Albatron. And there you have the bio for Albatron, if that interests you. Yay, hooray for carts. And here we have our four pack of beast boxes. And as I said in previous reviews, you can totally connect these boxes together side by side. You can stack them and you can make a whole wall of these things if you want to. And I'm sure there are collectors who do have a whole wall of these. And yeah, that's part of the fun is you can totally, they're, they're very easy to store, very easy to store. So we're gonna take a look at these one by one. So let's start off with Motley Roo. And here we have Motley Roo, and again, my favorite name of this set. And I believe they also call this one Dr. Feelgood. I'm not too sure. But anyway, yes, here is Motley Roo in box mode. And again, nice, compact box mode here. Not too much to talk about. It's a box, but hey, it works. Again, the engineering is wonderful, clever, and um, you know, I'm always genuinely impressed by the engineering by 5-2 Toys. So now let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's, you can get really good spins out of these too. Very, very good spins. Wonderful spins. Glorious spins. But anyway, so now to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to bring these sections up. 
bring these sections up and then you're going to rotate them out. They're on a double hinge, so bring them all the way out. Use all those hinges there at your disposal. Then you're going to take these sections and rotate them down. Rotate it down. And then these are going to flip up. These are going to flip up and then they're going to rotate in. And you have a tab slot connection right there. And just tab that in and tab that in. You're gonna take this transparent green section here, just collapse this all the way down, like so. Once you've done that, you're gonna take these side sections here, you're going to pull them out, and they will untab, like that. And then you're going to take what will be the feet, and pull these up, pull these up. Then you're gonna take these sections here, they are pegged into the sides, so you wanna undo, those pegs and then rotate this up and bring this up like so. And again, they also tab into the sides of these old panels as well. So bring that up like so. And once you've done that, you can just bring these legs all the way down, all the way down. And now you have the clearance to just take these posts here and just swing them in like so. And once you've done that, we can come down here to the tail, just swing this out. These blue sections here will rotate in and just bring that little panel up. Rotate that in, bring that little panel up, and then you can just extend the tail the rest of the way out, like so. Make sure those are tabbed in all the way. Then you want to bring up the head, rotate it 180, and just bring up the ears. You want to untab this chest section here, unpeg it so you can bring that up and then you can just bring that back down, tab it in there. And then just bring the arms up, bring up the hands, bring that up, like so. And there we go. There we have Motley Roo. And as always, very cool design, very cool engineering. There you go. Got a little kangaroo there. Very nice. Very nice. So we're getting close here just so we can take a look at the details real quick. Got some nice trans clearing green in there. And also some tamper graph details as well. Caution. Yeah, all in all. Nicely done articulation wise. The head can move up and down. The neck can move up and down. The head can move up and down. You got a ball joint in there as well. Uh, the mouth can open. It doesn't seem like it opens too much. It opens just a little bit. Either that or this joint is just stuck, but I don't want to force it because I don't want to break anything. But the arms, they're on ball joints. You can rotate. You got the elbow there. Hand can move up and down. Legs can rotate, move in and out some. You got that knee joint there as well. Feet are on the ball joint, wiggly waggly, up, down, rotation, all that good stuff. And also the heel there can move up and down. For supporting any posing, tail can move up and down. You have a hinge there and a hinge there that can also move up and down. So you got some pretty good posability here with Motley Roo. Woo! But wait, there's more. We also have a little, a little surprise in Motley Roo here. If we open this up, we get, oh, look at him. Yeah. You can pull this out. Just tabbed in, just give it a little tug there. And we got, we got a little Joey. We got a little Joey in there. And you just bring the tail out, bring down little feeties, bring up the head, and now we got little Joey. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's precious, yeah, he's precious. And the head can just move up and down, legs can rotate, tail has a joint there. That's pretty much it, but that is precious right there, I love that. And you can just bring that tail up all the way and just sit little joey in there you can close it up and there you go you can have that going on and that is awesome that is precious right there i love that i absolutely love that that is a great little feature right there <laughs> that is just adorable just adorable but wait there's more we also get uh this here with motley Roo, this accessory now we'll just show this off 
real quick. Some nice tampograph details, some nice paint apps going on there. So what you do here is you rotate this top section and it will open up this door and we have some accessories in here. So we can close that up. Uh, these posts just go into these ports here on the side. They're also on the front and the back as well, but I'm going to plug them in here like that. So we have that going on. We get some glasses here. We got some goggles just under that trans clearance green and these will just clip right over Motley Rue's eyes like so and then we fold the hands in and these are going to plug in over the hands a little poster that it'll clip onto and there is a designated right and left they are they are uh, labeled for you and these just clip right over and now Motley Roo has some boxing gloves on, and now Motley Roo can get the training on. There you go, getting ready for the big fight. Why not? Dare I say, why not? <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. So, there you have Motley Roo. And now here we have Dragonfire, and here is Dragonfire in its box mode. Now this is the least cohesive of the box mode, but still it gets the job done. Um, I love the transparent plastic on this because it has some nice molded in details, which looks quite, quite good in my opinion. Some nice coloration. You got some black, some purple, some silver. So overall, really nice color scheme going on there. You can see the head just kind of, hi, how you doing? <laughs> But yeah, there is the box mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? It's okay. So to get dragon fire here transformed up, uh, first thing we are going to do is we're going to raise all of this up, this top section here. Now these sections do tab in right there. So just get that all untabbed. Then you can just rotate all of this forward like so just bring that up and get that out of the way for now you're then going to split this section here and just bring all of this out like so you do have these tabs here that you need to flip out so get these flipped out this one's a little bit there we go get that flip out like so and then you just want to untab these sections here. Just rotate all this down. These sections here do slide inward, so make sure you open up that hinge and just slide that in ever so slightly. Oops, you stay there for now. You stay, you stay. We're not ready for you yet. So just bring all this down. And again, you want to slide this section inward camera will focus come on come on there we go so just slide this section inward like so you can see how that's opened up now so once you have done that now we can bring the two halves together just line up those tabs and slots right there like so just tab that all together like that once you've done that, you're going to take this section here, rotate it 180, then you're going to bring this section up, and then just extend all of this out like that. You then want to rotate these tail sections in like so, so the ball joint is facing outward, and then you want to rotate these sections around like so and like so and they are going to tap together right here like that oops tab it all together and get all of this tab together as well just get everything lined up get it all plugged together there we go like that like that and there we go we got it all together there you have 
the tail all done. So now you want to take the neck, you want to rotate this 180 and then rotate the head around so it's facing forward. Take these, just rotate that back like so. You can then take back legs here, just swing them down. This section here will come up, just tab in right there, and then you can bring the feet down and rotate them around. So just bring that down, rotate that around. And just get all that situated how you like. And there you go. There you have Dragonfire. And Dragonfire looks quite, quite cool. Really dig Dragonfire here. Dig the look, dig the color scheme. Really, really like that. Now let's get close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. It's a nice transparent plastic going on in there. I love the silver fading into the purple. That looks amazing. Some really nice paintwork going on here. Some typograph details. The engine, the engine is right there apparently. I don't know. <laughs> but all in all though. Nicely done. You got the trans clear and tail there with some tampograph details as well. Looks really good. Now articulation wise, the mouth can open and close, the head can rotate, the neck can rotate. Um, you know, you can move these body sections on multiple hinges here. So you can pretty much get things posed how you want. Tail can move up and down, up and down, up and down back here. Hind legs are on the ball joints. You can take a dragon fire piss, you know, whatever you want to do there. You got that knee joint here. It only moves forward a little bit. There is a stopper for it, so it can't extend out further than that. But the feet themselves are on a ball joint. And yeah, all in all though, very cool looking dragon. I quite dig that. So there you have Dragonfire. And now we move on to Siberius. And here is Siberius in its box mode. You got a whole lot of orange going on here with some black, some green, some silver. As always, there are some bits of caution right there. And there's the back. Um, this hinge, this, this hinge on mine is a little loose, but oh no, though. Not a bad box mode. So without further ado, let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's get back here. Get back here, Siberius. James Siberius Kirk, anyway. So to get Siberius transformed up, you're going to come back here and you're going to extend the tail up like so. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to bring up these transclearance green sections. You're going to rotate them all the way up like so, you're going to rotate them 180 and then extend them out like so, and then bring them out. So they're sitting like that. Once you've done that, you're gonna take the back here and this will extend outward like so, disengaging all of this. And then you're gonna take these back paws here, slide them forward until they click in the place and lock right there. You can just bring that paw forward. Second verse is like the first. Again, just slide that forward. Make sure it snaps into place and bring that paw forward like so. So now you're gonna take these front legs here. You're going to bring that down and then you're going to slide this up again, making sure it snaps into place. You can bring leg extend it how you want same thing on the other side just bring all this down slide this up and again make sure that snaps into place like so and you're going to take these sections here, these black sections you just want to push them back and then just swing them out push that back and swing that out and then you're just going to take the head and swing it up and over and just kind of get everything situated however you like and there you go there you have siberius
And Siberius is pretty cool. Not my favorite of this set, but not bad. Not bad. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the head sculpt. Gonna get the nice transparent green. Yeah, that silver in there. I'm gonna get the black. Overall, a cool design nonetheless. Just not my favorite of this box set. But not bad, not too shabby. Now articulation wise, head can move up and down. The mouth can open and close again. It just seems like only a little bit, I'm not too sure. Um, the front legs are on the ball joint, wiggly waggly, rotation. You got a couple joints here to work with on the front legs, paws can move up and down. Hind legs, as always, are on the ball joint, they can rotate. You have a little bit of movement forward and back here. Paws can move up and down. Tail can move up and down on this hinge, this hinge, and this hinge. And you have these pieces here that are on ball joints and you can angle those however you wish. So there you have Siberius. And last but certainly not least, we have Albatron. And this one is my personal favorite of this set. Now here is Albatron in box mode and the most solid box mode of them all. Love it, nice and compact, nice and solid. And uh, yeah, got some blue in there, some gold, some dark gray. But yeah, nice solid box mode going on here. So again, let's get down to transformation, shall we? Oops. Get back here. So to transform Albatron, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this section here, we're going to split it in half like so and bring that out. We're gonna take this section here, we're going to rotate it just a quarter of a turn. You're gonna take these sections here and you're going to rock them back like so. So you can bring these bits up and then you wanna take these sections here and extend them up on these double hinges. And I could take two halves here, clip that together, and then this will tap together like so. And then all of this will come up and tap together to finish off the tail. And then you're just going to rotate that. And we'll just leave that there for now. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to come here to this section, just Bring these sections out slightly and then just take the two halves of the head and bring them forward like so. And then these sections will come back to make the neck. And there we go. And once we've done that, we can just bring all of this up like that. So now you're going to take the legs. You're just going to split them. They do tab into each other. So split them. You want to take the front legs here. You want to rotate them 180 and rotate this 180 like so. On the back legs here, you're just going to rotate that and then that will just swing down. Swing that down. Second verse just like the first. Just split that up. Rotate 180. Rotate 180. And bring that down. Just extend that, rotate that 180, and bring that down like so. And there you go. There you have Albatron in beast mode. And again, my personal favorite of this set. I'm getting close here so we can take a look. On some of the details, with a nice transparent plastic there for the eyes. Yeah, just kind of a nice kind of pale gold going on here as well. Again, nice design, nice and sleek, and just works very, very well. Now articulation-wise, mouth can open and close, head can rotate, move up and down. Front legs can rotate, they can move in and out, forward and back. You got rotation. Got that joint there for the elbow. You have, I guess this would be wrist rotation. <laughs> Hind legs, same thing. Rotation, they're on a ball joint, so you have in and out, you have a hinge also. Rotation there, forward and back. 
rotation there on the toesies, tail can move up and down, side to side, rotation, this section of the tail can move up and down, can wiggle side to side a little bit, this section can also move up and down, no wiggle waggle side to side though, but all in all though, a very, very solid piece right here, again this one is my favorite of this set, it just looks cool, just looks really cool to me. Now accessory wise, you do get uh, some little transclearant orange fishies, and I didn't take these out of the bag, um, but what you do is, there's a little ball joint there, you just take it and you pop it right into that port right there, so you can just have a fish on its back, and for storage, you open up its belly, and you can store the fishies in there. So, hey, things you can do if you want to do it. So, there you go. So there you have the Botcon 5-2 Toys exclusive set. And, uh, yeah, a really cool box set, in my opinion. As always, I am impressed by the engineering that 5-2 Toys puts forward. As always, I'm impressed by the engineering here, you know, just getting all these different beasts into that same, you know, box shape is just, just baffles my brain. But they always make it work, and again, I am always impressed by the engineering of these. So yeah, a very nicely done box set here, so there you go! Now you can pick up this box set at BotCon if you're going to be at the convention in Nashville, Tennessee from August 25th through August 28th. But if you're not going to be at the convention, you can pre-order this box set through agabis.com. There'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. You can also check out my 5-2 Toys Beast Box playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the BotCon 2022 exclusive 5-2 Toys Beast Box set. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Pum in your face.